Hey, hey, hey. Welcome everyone to the Falcons Family Podcast, our first and brand new podcast here with the Falcons organization. I am one of your hosts, Lauren, streaming as Lady of Verity, with my co-host Luke, streaming as Bite Me 117. Um, we're really excited to share this all with you. Yeah, super excited. Um, this was actually like 30 times harder to hold in than the apparel. Oh yeah, like I wanted to tell everybody for weeks. <laughs> I I almost slipped up multiple times, so I'm, me too. I'm, I'm kind of finally happy to be getting this out of here. So it's awesome. Yes, I'm loving it. Yes, definitely. I'm loving it, but super happy to be here. And uh, yeah, welcome to the uh, the Falcons podcast. Gonna be lots of these, and they're gonna be awesome. They're gonna be lots of fun. We we have nothing but good vibes here. So so many good vibes. This first episode is kind of just to introduce ourselves and. Get everyone a little bit more familiar with the organization, what we do, who we are. And, uh, Luke, did you want to start um, kind of a little, sh- little more about yourself? I can. Uh, so I, myself, uh, I'm a streamer, I'm content creator of all sorts, of all kinds. I do TikTok, I do YouTube, Instagram, um, I mostly stream on Twitch. I stream all different kinds of games. I'm more of a variety streamer, so uh, that would be that would be my main thing, variety streaming. What about yourself? Uh, pretty much the same. I started with Twitch. I've kind of been dabbling into the, the TikTok arena. Um, definitely getting my YouTube up and running, kind of trying to figure out where I want to, to go with all of that. But but mostly the Twitch streaming, also variety games. I get very bored very easy, so I kind of jump around a lot. But, uh, I, well, yeah. I feel that. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. Yeah, it, it takes a... a annoying amount of time to set everything up like sometimes and especially it's like you're overwhelmed so it's like holy crap i can only do so much yeah definitely but once you do get everything set up then it's then it's really nice would you like to go through the valkins concept yeah so valkins is the creator force creator first organization um really situated around gaming entertainment we're getting into apparel um, I know there's there's more things down the line that will be shared as we as we can, um, but it's really Anything. it's family first. It first and foremost it's about the family, and I I love how much they really let us contribute. Like everyone yeah. that's been brought into the family, we've been able to contribute thoughts and ideas, and they they really do care about us. So that has been absolutely amazing. Oh yeah, it's been it's it's been a hundred percent great. So Valkins is definitely on top of things all the time. For sure. And I found it most impressive that all the people that they've kind of brought into the family, like we're from all different walks of life, but we get along. We sh- we have obviously different opinions and different ideas and stuff, but we're able to come together and share them and create, you know, good content without being like this animosity that you can sometimes see in uh, in other organizations. Yeah. Yeah. This, this organization is definitely, definitely a hundred, like, it is. It's 100% family driven. 100%. Like, I don't know any other organization that's based 100% just on the family itself. So. Yeah, some of my most fun streams have been the uh, the family games with you guys. Yeah, yeah. It's it's absolutely amazing. I love it. And we're not just streamers. I mean, we have Tay, who does, who's like amazing vocalist. Um, Jack, who is a fantastic producer, produces songs, Mythlocks, like... We, we, we've got everything, so it's cool. Yeah, yeah, we got we got lots. We got lots. But yeah, basically, this new podcast is situated around all things Valken, so gaming, entertainment, social and online space, anything that's culturally relevant. Uh, we'll discuss various different things, lots, lots of different things going on different episodes, too. And, of course, there uh, will be interviews with uh, family Valkins members, so... Look forward to that in the future, because that will be a thing for sure. Definitely getting into uh, the heads of our fellow fellow streamers. Yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. And I'm pretty sure everybody will have a, a good time with them. Everybody's pretty entertaining. Definitely, like everyone brings something unique to it, which is great. Like you have um, you have Zero, who's like actually part Native American, and he's really into his his culture and his heritage. So like it's mm-hmm. fun seeing him bring that into his streams, and yep. like. And Logan Wind Alive, who, like, is just so... He sounds like a radio host, honestly. It's, it's he does. awesome. He does. He does sound like a radio host. He does. It's, and it's great. It's, it's wicked. 
Yeah, and Justine Kitty Cat is just so cute. And, like, so just genuine. I love watching her streams for that. Yeah, everybody's very genuine and just super chill. Yeah. Everybody gets along and everybody does their thing and everybody's super loving and caring and, yeah, everybody gets together and supports each other. It's, it's fantastic. It is. It's beautiful. So, more on ourselves. I mean, getting more personal, I think, um, I, I've told my community this a lot, but I work in IT for a school, so that definitely drives a lot of the topics that I'm interested in. Um, so mm. it's, it'll be interesting seeing, like, how much we can bring that into the, the episodes as they continue. Yeah. And yeah, I live in New Jersey, which, uh, is, is an experience. Another thing I love about the organization, we're from all over the place, like... Yes, I'm from the Northeast, uh, you're from Canada, which is awesome. Yes, me and Justine are both from Canada, yeah. And, and Logan, right? And Logan, yes. There are three Canadians. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, yeah. Me and Jordan three are Canadian. from the U.S., and then Bunny, who just started with us, is from the U.K., so we're so all over the place. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're definitely all over the place, 100%. But yeah, uh, I live in uh, Canada, Nova Scotia, Canada. And, um, for me, I try to mainly stream as much as I can. Um, a lot of people do know I do have, uh, physical health issues, so it stops me from doing a lot of things, which sucks, but, uh, you know, we push on, we push on, we grind, we grind. So I've been getting into streaming, uh, a lot, and, um, that's mainly what I do right now. Um, I stream and I have an eight month old daughter and she is very loved and it's it's fantastic. And that is basically my life. It is it is great. I love it. It's a great time. No, that's awesome. Once you have kids it's kind of like that becomes your focus in a way. Like Oh definitely. It's I never understood it, but it's once you have a child then you really you really realize how important family is, and it changes your world immediately, instantly. And you're just, uh, you, you can't love anything more. So, I don't complain. That's so, so, I always admired, like, your, your dedication and how much time you're able to give to, to everything. I, I work a very crazy job. You'd think working at a school, like, would be, you know, great hours, but with all the overtime and stuff that sometimes I get, it's really hard to keep a steady stream schedule, which is, it, it's difficult at times, but I do yeah. love my job and I love what we do, so. Yeah, exactly. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. As long as you love what you do, then continue to do so. And that goes for everybody, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Also, I... holy <laughs> shit, we got, uh, break, break, break. Matt, break. <laughs> I'm just I'm I'm just looking at our record time here. Fuck me. Do we have <laughs> We're at 12 13 minutes. I know. We got to like we got to stretch this shit out. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> yeah, that whole planning where I said I was going to not talk fast went out the window. Mask could like listen through this and be like these motherfuckers. <laughs> well, uh, I'm sorry, Matt. I'm sorry. I <laughs> Nah, Matt's probably laughing. He'll be laughing when he sees this. <laughs> or listens to this will be like yeah we're gonna get fired <laughs> <clears throat> nah we're gonna... i think we're good i think we're good watch them leave this in watch that them actually watch would them be hilarious like... i <laughs> would not be surprised at all that this, this is about oh. as natural as you could fucking get he has a very puckish sense of humor with this stuff so i'm sure some of this will end up in there talk about uh your, your fishing village and and how you ate lobster today oh man i had the best <laughs> oh wow i had the best lobster in the world today people travel from ridiculous distances just to come here for lobster that or they pay like twenty dollars a pound to get it shipped or something like that it's it's ridiculous but anyways it's uh it's really good lobster so my <laughs> community is nothing but fishermen so you know uh you go visit your grandpa gram your your uh, your grandpa your your grandfather you know, and you walk in the door and he's got a big, fucking tub of lobster and he's just like yeah you want some lobster and I'm like yeah, <laughs> so I made myself a lobster uh, sandwich and it was absolutely delicious. That's crazy. So like, uh, forgive my ignorance of like, 
geography and crap. But Nova Scotia is itself an island. Are you like an island off the island or are you just part of the big island? Cape Breton, like Nova Scotia um, is connected to the mainland, barely. <laughs> we are connected to the mainland by a bridge and it's a very small bridge. So I guess technically, yeah, I do. I do live on just one big island. That's cool. So all of my talk of wanting to live on like a little private island, you actually live on an island. <laughs> I mean, there's little islands within this island because we also have the largest saltwater lake in the world, which would be the Bredor Lakes for anybody that wants to know. I feel so boring. I'm just like, I live in Jersey. <laughs> we have cornfields. <laughs> like, we got corn. We got corn. You go south, you got corn. You go north, <laughs> you got the city. Like, any other direction? Corn. Basically, I mean, we do have beautiful vineyards. Like, you don't think of vineyards when you think of New Jersey, but we have really good wine here. I actually didn't... Yeah, I would never have thought of that. Like, we have some really good, um, like, family-owned wineries that I still haven't visited all of them. And it makes me sad because, like, it's just top-notch wine. Really? Yeah, which made me want to really get into it. Like, That's awesome. For anyone that doesn't My know, Everity Wine will be coming to your, your shelves shortly. Um, not really, <laughs> but... Um, but I, I am making my own wine because it's just, it's, you can do it here. It's it's the perfect uh, temperature for it. Yeah. Yeah. You can, uh, a lot of people make their own wine here too. And it's, it's super good. People, that's another, <laughs> that's that another a thing whole separate my... episode. We could, talk, yeah. I could talk about that forever. Yeah. Like, that's could literally talk episode. about alcohol forever <laughs> for fuck's sakes, because I assume your community is full of it. Oh, yeah. And uh, what do you get when you get a bunch of fucking old fishermen together <laughs> or young fishermen together? You get drinks. So, yeah, there's there's many, many, uh, many a drinking a happening around here for sure. People like to make their own their own wines and uh, their own fucking vodkas and moonshines, whatever the hell they can make. That's awesome. So, OK, so. This has to be a separate episode because I could just ask so many questions about this. We're gonna, we're not going to get too deep into that because this is going right, to be we, something separate. Right, <laughs> I could go on like deep. this will turn into something completely opposite of what it's supposed to be. Hey, we're good. We're good. We'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll save this one for next time. Yeah. So stay tuned. Definitely one of the episodes coming up will be talking about the alcohol business. Oh, yeah. I would shit my pants if we got sponsored by an alcohol company. <laughs> I would... <laughs> I, I'd be, yeah, I'd be, I'd be pretty excited, especially where I barely drink anything. I'm <laughs> such a, I'm such a lightweight that it would not take very much. Yeah. So I would just constantly have a supply and just never have to worry. One little buzz, mm, one glass, two glass. Okay, sweet. Done, done and done. That's the best part about homemade wines too. Like they don't give you the headache that, that is commercial true. wines do. Like that is, that is true. There was... I wish I'd remember the damn name of it, but it was some Nova Scotian actually made wine. And I bought it in the store, but it didn't didn't give me a headache. And that was the one kind of wine that never gave me a headache afterwards. Um and I can't remember the can't remember the name of it, so I can't get it again. Oh, no. Unless I get lucky and I just fish through a bunch of fucking wine bottles in the liquor store and then the workers are looking at me like I'm <laughs> fucked in my head. You're just gonna have to try them all again. That's... Just walk out with twenty bottles. Yeah, I gotta try these. <laughs> I have people coming over to sample these. <laughs> I'd be great. A liquor sponsor would be awesome. If you could pick any any game to sponsor you, what would what would it be? Oh shit! Now you're asking the tough questions. Yeah. That's so hard because I like so many different things. Like. Okay, give me one and two. They they can be tied for first. Give me two. Fuck. Um. It, it's oh. See. Okay. Here's the problem. It completely <laughs> depends on my mood. Okay. It completely depends on how bored I've gotten by the game. Like, if you asked me ten years ago, World of Warcraft, hands down. Fair enough. Because I played that a lot. I. Like, I have a lot of history with that game. Like my sister met her husband playing that game. So That's... there's there's stuff yeah. there. But then it kind of like besides the whole. You know, legal drama that's happening with Blizzard and everything. Um, yeah. I just, I've gotten kind of bored of the game. Like, it's become the same thing over and over again. Like, how many times can you 
you know, do the same dungeons? Can you do the same raids? Like, and even, yeah, you know, yeah, exactly. But if we're talking today now, what do you got? Oh, uh, like right now I'm obsessing a little bit about Lost Ark because it has enough of the World of Warcraft feel, but with like actual story stuff. Like, okay. Like as you're playing, there's so much cutscene like history that they're giving you. It's beautiful. Like the yeah. game is beautiful. Mm-hmm. So I think for right now it would be um, whoever created Lost Ark. Oh, nice. What about you? My, I, I like without being biased, like between COD or Halo. Like obviously, uh, Halo. Halo would be it for me, just because I grew up on Halo. I got the Xbox, uh, the original Xbox and Halo when it came out. And of course, I did play the original PlayStation stuff. But once I was just hooked on Halo once it came out, I was only six years old. So I was super hooked on that. But if I had to say any other game, it would be Half-Life 2. And probably not a whole pile of people would really expect me to say that. Well, yeah, I suppose. Never mind. Yeah, I I play a bunch of different crap, so, yeah. But yeah, Half-Life 2. Um, the, half, the whole Half-Life series, love it. Same with Halo. I You can't go wrong. I knew you were going to say Halo was one of yours. <laughs> yeah. For me, I can just get on any Halo at any time and enjoy myself and relax or, you know, just whatever. I can get on Half-Life, both of that because... Oh, sorry. Half-Life I get into... Because I'm like, all right, I haven't played Half-Life in a while, but I love the story, and its gameplay is actually really fun, but it's single-player only, so. Ah. Yeah, I like that, that Halo also has that, um, like, it has enriched story to it. It's not just, oh, we're getting into the situation, and now kill these things and go over here. Like, it actually has story and stuff, so. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. A hundred percent. The game is driven by and... story is amazing. Yeah. Ha- like, Halo 4, meh. Halo 5, I don't really want to talk about it. Um, <laughs> Halo Infinite, I actually enjoyed. I, I thought it was I thought it was pretty good. But uh, lacking content, for sure. Um, upset that the game was lacking content. But for gameplay-wise and, and, and for being a new Halo, I'm super happy because Halo 5 was fucking shit. I, I hated that <laughs> damn game so much. I that could be a whole fucking episode. <laughs> Not that it would be because I don't want to even mention its dirty ass name. But, you know, um this Halo did good, so uh props. Nice. Lost Ark sounds really interesting. It is. Like I told one of my friends about it and like she has surpassed me in levels because she just got so immersed into it. And I'm like, "Damn, girl." But um... <laughs> I tried to play it and my fucking computer kept fucking crashing. I can see that because it is so graphically like brilliant. I I somehow got on long enough to crank the graphics down to the maximum, and it still crashed my computer. I was oh. like, "Oh, well, this this isn't cool." <laughs> Definitely, like it's funny. I bought my new computer um, with the intention of like having it available when the Harry Potter Legacy game finally comes out, which they announced is going to be like at the end of the year. So I could have waited, but. I'm glad I got it because now I can play Lost Ark and not like have to worry about a computer crashing every five seconds. Yeah, nice. That's another thing I was gonna ask. But what, uh, what games you looking forward to? Oh, Harry Potter Legacy, like hands down. I already told my boss I'm taking off a week of work when it comes out because I'm gonna do <laughs> nothing else. That's awesome. That and, is awesome. And he's a geek too, so he totally gets it. It's it's awesome. Yeah. That okay. That's that. Yeah. That's pretty wicked. That's pretty wicked. For me. I gotta say, and it sucks because I really hope this game comes out on the Xbox. If not, I'm gonna buy it on the PC anyways, but there's no way it's gonna be able to run it, is um, Sons of the Forest. And it's a sequel to a game called The Forest. And it's a uh, horror survival game. And uh, it's, it's such an immersive game and so much fun. The building in it is incredible. I've seen all the trailers for the the second game, and I've seen so much things on it. It looks phenomenal. It it blows my mind. I can't wait. I can't wait for it. I can't wait. Because I'm a huge horror fan. I love horror movies. I love my sci-fi. And I love horror games. 
because they just get the heart pumping. They definitely so, do that. Yeah. Oh. And for some reason on stream, people find that very entertaining when you near fucking take a stroke. <laughs> so <laughs> there is that. Um, but yeah, um, Sons of the Forest would be what I'm waiting for the most. Even if my computer can't handle it, I'm, st I'm buying it. So then when I do get a new computer, I, I can play it. That's cool. That's the only genre I can't do. Like, I will not sleep. I don't watch horror movies. I, the, the horrorist, if, that, if that's even a word, game I'll play is the Dead by Daylight with you guys because we make it fun. It's not quite as, like, mm, like I'll exactly. still scream when things jump out at me, but it's not going to, like, throw me oh, into so a Oh, so a I. So a lie. Like, Dead by, if I round a corner and the killer's right there, I'll yell. I'll scream, like. Oh, yeah. But it, it's an exhilarating scream and you're having fun. Yeah. Like, when I did Outlast 2, I wanted to fucking just curl up in the corner and die the whole fucking <laughs> time. I hated that. And amazing game. Amazing. And everybody was like, oh, keep playing. Play, keep keep playing Outlast. Keep playing Outlast 2. Worst fucking mistake I could have ever done was played through Outlast 2. That was the scariest game I ever played in my life. That was the one horror game that had a jump scare that made me throw my controller. <laughs> I think besides besides Fear from 2004, I think that's when Fear came out. Have you ever played Fear? No. No. I, I no. I can't even watch those games. Like, like even like Phasmophobia, which is seems like super silly. I can't. I can't do it. I actually didn't get to freaking play. I bought the damn thing and I never even played it for frig. It's such a waste. <laughs> uh, oh well, whatever. One day there's still time. You can play it. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. That's true. That's true. I think there's also a um, a third Outlast game coming out, but I think it is co-op, so it looks very uh, very interesting. Hmm. Um, I've seen one trailer. I don't know if it's real or if it's fake. It looks awfully real to me, but it looks super super cool, and I hope it's real because I want to play it. But that Harry Potter game looks very good too. Um, is that PC exclusive or what? Oh no, it's um, it, all platforms, including Nintendo Switch, which I'm not really sure how that's gonna work. But it's yeah, it they, I'm cautiously optimistic. They originally introduced it as an MMORPG, open world, and now it's single player. It's still kind of open world, but it's gonna be single player. So, mm -hmm. and it's gonna be kind of like Kotor-ish, where you can choose the direction you want your character to go. Like, you could be a light wizard or a dark wizard. So I'm I'm remaining oh, cautiously optimistic okay. about it. <laughs> okay, okay. It, it does sound like a really cool game, though. If, it, if it's on all platforms, chances are I'll probably end up getting it uh, for the Xbox. Because then at least I know my damn Xbox can run the fucking thing. Yeah. Instead of my fucking graphics card melting. Yeah. But right now it looks like that's going to release December 31st of this year. So, oh, nice. Yeah. Um, the game I'm waiting for comes out October. Oh, cool. Okay, so yeah, have a Sons, couple yeah, months Sons to get into that. Yeah, Sons of the Forest, for sure, yeah. I'll have Super you tabbed fun. up when you play that. I can't watch that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing as, uh, well, it, it looks like the forest, but just way better. It's mostly, you know, building, surviving, until you get into a cave. Then yeah. things start to not get very fun. Yeah. Like and when I you're think, running... like, did you see that clip um, of Justine where, like, the spider jumped out at her and she freaked the fuck out? Yes. That's how I'm imagining, like, the entire game would be. You enter a cave and sometimes bats will fly out in your face and they're loud as shit. And yeah. it, no. it, it, it gets me. <laughs> no. Even when you're running through the caves, sometimes there's bats that will just fly out out of nowheres and they're loud. And anything that's in there, like a boss, or uh, not a boss, just a, a big, big guy, usually an armsy or a legsy, uh, that's what they call them, fantastic names, uh, legsy, because she has about, like, eight legs, disgusting, and armsy, because he's got about, like, eight arms, and he's also disgusting. Yeah, anything in those caves is just not fun. I remember w running into one, one time, and armsy chased me and my buddy backwards but we ended up taking a fork that we didn't even know was there and ended up falling into a pit of water and 
into an underwater cave system and we just it was so dark you literally can't see anything in that game the visibility zero when it's actually dark so they they nailed dark in that game uh so yeah we just drowned to death and that was probably the scariest cave experience i've had that sounds delightful <laughs> for for a video game it's it, it's great <laughs> when you and your friend are both sitting there screaming like <laughs> You know you're having a good time. So besides Harry Potter, what else you got? I don't know what else is coming out. There was a couple that came out that I still haven't gotten a chance to play. Um, the Kina Bridge of Spirits looked really pretty. Like, I'm more into, like, the, the pretty kind of story-based games where I can, like, uncover yeah. stuff. Like, that's kind of my genre. That's fair because I also really love those types of games. I, yeah, I agree. I agree. Also, this could uh, this could be an entirely uh, separate episode on its own as well. I wonder, now, I'm wondering, I wonder has it already happened. Spyro's not on Xbox yet, is it? I don't even know what that is. You don't know what Spyro is? No. Ugh. Is that sacrilege? Like, should I go in the corner of shame? <sighs> yeah, you might have to on this <laughs> one. Damn, holy shit. Wait, I'm Googling, I'm Googling. It's single player, it's PlayStation 1, it's old school, but it was, ah, uh, they, they remastered it. But I'm just wondering with the whole new licensing thing, like, now that Xbox owns Spyro, I'm wondering, like, when the fuck is Spyro going to be on Xbox? If it's ever oh, going to It's cute! Xbox. It's a little dragon! Yes! Oh my god, how do I not know about this? And he saves big dragons. I have to play this. Is it on PC or just a... Uh... Fuck. You would have to Google that. You know what? Google the platforms, too. While you oh, got yeah. Google I'm, I'm in there. I'm, I'm, I'm asking out loud. Because now I'm, I'm intrigued. Well, that's why I figured... As soon as I... As soon as you said no... First of all, I knew you loved dragons. Yes! So I was like... <laughs> so I was like... Uh, oh, what? That would be... That was one of my what reactions. And two, it's just such a cultural... Like, it's just, it's such a cult favorite, you know what I mean? I just can't believe you haven't heard of it before. I'm immediately, after this is over, going into the, the corner of shame. Because that's, ah. It's such a fun game. Oh, it's, it's on a, Steam. It's, it's fantastic. Okay. There you go. I highly suggest streaming it, because it is an, an absolutely incredible single-player story-based game that uh, I, I highly, highly recommend playing. Especially with you loving dragons, I would I would play it. Yes, thank you. That is going immediately into my stream uh, queue because that looks adorable as hell. Anytime, and yeah, it is. You can't go wrong with Spyro either. I don't <laughs> care what what anybody says. Like you pick up Spyro and you play Spyro, you're having a good time. Okay, you're not sitting there <laughs> pissed off, angry. You're smiling. You're you're having a fun time when you play Spyro. That's, That's what awesome. you play when you want to relax. So, perfect. That that is my new Friday evening. I just need to chill game. It will calm your nerves severely, except sometimes when you're trying to get eggs. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little hint. Okay. That'll be my hint to you. Have fun getting some of the eggs. Other than that, game's great. <laughs> <laughs> I had momentum and now I got nothing. No, I think that that was good. I think uh, for. An intro episode kind of got into our little a uh, little bit of what we like, what we play. You think so? You think that's good? I think it's, yeah. Yeah, I think that's good. Also, Matt, you better leave that in. Also, Matt is a, a piece of garbage. Uh, don't don't regard if you hear any of us saying the the name Matt. Um, <laughs> Matt, worst CEO ever. Yeah, yeah. Just ter <laughs> ter ter terrible person. No, shout out to Matt, straight up. <laughs> Matt is, uh, Matt being the CEO of Alkins, Matt is straight up an amazing person um but to wrap things up um would you like to wrap things up or would you like me to oh no i started it you can by all means take us away all right well we are super excited to bring this new podcast in and um you know this was just a quick you know uh, welcome episode introduce ourselves and uh, you know just babble on about some stuff can't wait for you guys to join in on the next one. Make sure to follow the podcast on Apple and Spotify, uh, your other favorite platforms, um, you know, to be amongst 
some of the first people to hear the new episodes, uh, which there will be plenty of. Don't worry about that one. So, yeah, hopefully everybody enjoyed the podcast. Thank you once again, um, Lauren or Lady of Arity. And thank you, Luke, or Bite Me. Um, you can yes, follow yes. me on all of my, uh, all the socials, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube as Lady of Arity. And mine are all messed up, so they will be in the description. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right, everybody. Hopefully, everybody has a fantastic time, and we will see you guys in the next episode. Bye, everybody. Bye. Peace.